Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So I hope you can hear me with the audio I'm actually using my Galaxy Buds. So today, in today's video, I thought we'd just go over the camera equipment and the setup that I use to film my YouTube videos. If I'm not using my camera, I'm using my mobile phone with my JDI gimbal. So for my camera setup, what I have here is a Canon EOS M50 and I have this fully set up in 4K video and ultra high definition photography and for the massive wide angle lens shots I take I use a 22mm lens I also have a 1545mm lens for a bit of a close up, close up video and then if you guys follow me around like this, sorry, I'm still trying to work out the pan on my uh, video here. Uh, I also have a 55-200 lens for a really close-in shot. But through the filming and photography and that I have been doing lately, I've realised that those three lenses are absolutely terrific for what I need. But they don't quite fulfil my purpose. So what I then proceeded to do was buy a Canon 55-250 lens that you see here. But the issue I had was the adaption for this camera is different to, for, sorry, for this lens is different to the one I have on my camera. So I had to buy one of these adapters at $150. So that is what my setup is. Now, when it comes to my editing software and that, I use uh, PowerDirector on my tablet. And then, of course, I obviously can't load, upload thumbnails or tweak it quite as much as what you can, say, in YouTube Studio. So what I do is I upload my videos in private and then I go into the YouTube Studio and I just finish up the final touches, you know, thumbnail, just dull, brighten or dull the video, maybe add some background music, depending on what I want out of that content. And then of course, obviously, we change it to public, then you guys get to see the finished project. Now, when it comes to filming without my camera, what I have for a personal mobile phone is a Samsung A71. Now that has a 64 megapixel rear camera, so it takes quite high definition photos. It also films in 1920 by 1080 full high definition, such as the Samsung S10. But it isn't; it's the base model. But there's the S10, which is your Galaxy range, and then you got the S20, which is the flagship. This model phone I'm using here on my JDI gimbal is the flagship model of the A series. So it's not quite up there with the specs in the camera as the S20 with the 105 megapixels and full 4K and 8K filming. But it's the next step down but the top of the Galaxy A range if that does make sense. So when it comes to video stabilisation I actually use a tripod for my standard camera and then I have a JDI Osmo 3 gimbal which I purchased at JB Hi-Fi for $169 with a little tripod and, that, and that's currently what I'm using to hold the video stable now. And when it comes to audio when I'm out and about I actually yet don't have an external microphone but when I'm filming on my phone I either use my Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus, which is what I've got in my ears now, or I use my Beats audio headphones. So they're the two headphones I use for my mobile phone, but there's nothing I use for my M50. Now, big question. You decided you want to buy a Canon M50. What? Are the price ranges well right at this present time the Canon M50 is going for around $899 and that is at JB Hi-Fi 
and you get the 1545 lens with that kit. Then if you would like to purchase the 22mm lens, you're looking at around $245. And then the 55-200 lens, that's $699. Now, I was lucky I actually had that off the Canon M3 I had. So I just didn't terminate that, get rid of that lens, sorry, when I traded that camera in. So all together, and then the 55-250 lens I got, uh, I brought from Big W for $4.99, so, and the adapter was $150. So all together, you're looking at around $1,800, $1,900 to buy the camera equipment I use. Now, I can't speak about other camera brands because I haven't used them. But for me, I've had a Canon M3 and that was a terrific camera. I uh, actually never really filmed any YouTube videos with that one, but the photography in it was pretty good. And then I upgraded to the M50, which is what I'm using now. And I have had no qualms with it. Always get crisp, clear photos, crisp, clear video. Uh, when it comes to editing, it's a breeze. They have built-in Wi-Fi. So all you do is download the Canon Connect app. And then you set the camera up to connect, to connect to your mobile phone through the app. And you can use the app to control your photography. So use it as a remote for your photos and for your video, which is a new feature with this M50 over the M3. So that is what I mainly use to edit. Now when it comes to editing, I either use my mobile, my Samsung A71 or I use my Samsung Tab A, which is their base tablet, but it's still pretty useful for what I use it for. So there we go, guys. Like always, uh, browse and subscribe the channel and uh, drop a big like on this video. It really does help me out and help me hit that goal of 500 subscribers. So I shall see you in the next video. Uh -oh.